What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best media encoder settings that you should be using to export your videos. So first what we want to do is go up to file and then go to export and add to media encoder queue. And once you do this, it should have your media encoder pop up on your screen right here. It may take a while. This process shouldn't take too long, but it just has to load your video basically into the media encoder and it should pop up here in just a few seconds all right there we go it just popped up you can see that it already applied a preset this might be different for you depending on if you've uh, already used presets in the past before all right so once you're in your export settings you want to change your format to h.264 and your preset can either be 1080p full hd or you can do your youtube one that is going to export your video in 4k first off i'll do the 1080p for this example so in effects this should all just be unchecked you shouldn't have to change anything you usually will be doing your effects inside your timeline in premiere pro or after effects so we can just start on this video tab and you can see that the frame rate is locked to what your composition is and if you want to render at maximum depth i highly recommend that it'll basically just make your video look a lot crisper and better once it uh, encodes and make sure you have hardware encoding this will speed up your process a lot faster when you're um, encoding your video software encoding works also but it isn't the fastest is using the software instead of like your hardware so like your GPU but either one works and then we can go down to your bitrate settings right here you can either do VBR one pass CBR or VBR two pass I've only used VBR one pass and two pass, but I would just stick to one pass because for YouTube, since it compresses it so much, you can't really notice a difference between two pass and one pass. So for your target bitrate right here, you can either have it at like eight megabytes or you can have it at like 16. So 16 obviously will look a lot better, but YouTube only allows for like 16 megabytes, I think for like 1080p or maybe even 12, I'm not sure. It's not very high, so that doesn't have to be too high. So I'll just leave it at 16. And then down here is just some like VR stuff, so you don't have to worry about that. Use maximum render quality. I would check this also. Obviously it's gonna render your video at maximum quality. It might take a bit longer, but it'll definitely make an improvement audio. I just leave the audio format at AAC. All this sample rate, the hertz and everything. I leave this all the same. I mean, if you're more into audio and you know what you're doing with that, you can change it, but I just leave that at 48,000 hertz. Audio quality high, bit rate 320, and advanced settings, I leave that on bit rate. And then this stuff right here, I've never really messed with, so I'm not totally sure what all this stuff does, but I would just leave all this stuff default. So yeah, all this stuff should just be unchecked here, and this stuff should just be default. So once you've done that, you can either just go out and export it, or you can save this as a preset. So if you save this preset, you can name it an ADP YouTube. And then you can hit save effects settings and publish settings if you want. So I'll do both of those. So now you can see in the preset, it says 1080p YouTube and it'll just show up here. So every time you want to encode your next video, you can just hit the preset instead of going through this whole process every single time, which is pretty nice. And then once you're done with that, you can just hit okay and it'll bring you back into here. So the next thing you want to do is select your output file. Right here, you can change where you want your video to save to on your computer. So this just depends to where you want to save it, but I'll just choose the um, After Effects renders. You can name it whatever. So now it will output to this folder that I selected and it'll have this preset that I just applied. And once you have done that, you can go up to this green arrow right here and it'll start your queue. So once you do that, you can see that it goes into the encoding process right here. And this may take a while to encode. It kind of just depends on your video. 
you can see that it has time remaining right here. So 40 seconds. All right, so it just finished encoding. So now you can go onto your output file right here where you saved it to. Click that and it'll bring up your folder to where you saved it to. So here's the video right here. So yeah, it's pretty simple. I think the media encoder is a really nice plugin or I guess like software for After Effects or Premiere Pro. I'll now show you how to export your videos in 4K if you want to use that. So I'm just going to duplicate this right here. And I'm going to change these settings in the preset. So I'm just going to remove this one actually. And go into this like we did earlier for the 1080p one. Effects, leave that blank. Video. Or we want to change the 1920 or let's go with the preset and change YouTube 4K. So it just changed the aspect ratio and you can see it updated up here. These things you can also use a drag for where you want your media encoder to encode your video at. And then I'm going to change this to render at maximum depth. And then my bit rate, I'm going to scale that up to like 50. And then I'm going to want to select this, use maximum render quality again. And then frame sampling, keep that the same. And then that should be good for this setting. You can change your audio if you want, but I'm just going to keep that the same. And then you can save this as a preset again just by going to the save preset but I'm just going to leave this like that because I already have a preset for this so I'll just hit OK and I'll hit my output file and you can see it's already here it already knows where it wants to save it so I'll just hit save so once you have your 4k settings applied you can just go back to this green arrow right here and encode this one more time that's about it for this YouTube video hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys on the next video peace out